Continue talking about health care for a moment. Let's bring in Republican Senator Rick Scott of Florida. No doubt somebody who understands a lot about health care and the politics of it in, and, more importantly, uh, perhaps the uh, substance of it. Senator Scott, where do you see this right now? Um, is President Trump looking to 2020 just a nod to reality that nothing could get done in the next two years in Congress? Well, let's, let's think about it. It has to get through Nancy Pelosi. Uh, the Democrats want to ruin health care. They want Medicare for all. They want to ruin, you know, first off, Medicare, and second, to, uh, kill everybody's private insurance. What everybody ought to focus on is what everybody talks about and doesn't do. Get the costs down. I mean, just, why don't we just focus on costs? That's what, remember Obamacare was supposed to drive uh, the average premium for a family down by $2,500? It did yeah. the opposite. Premiums are up, copayments are up, deductibles are up. So I, I uh, did a bill last Friday that said, you're not going to be able to charge, if you're a drug company, you can't charge Americans more than you charge Europeans. That's pretty basic. When you go to a pharmacy, they should tell you what's, what's going to cost you to pay out But even with that, pocket. that would have to go through the Congress as well. So we just saw these numbers from Gallup today. These probably won't surprise you, but the anxiety about health care is quite high. Um, estimated last year that Americans borrowed $88 billion dollars. Uh, 15 million were deferred purchasing for drugs, and 45 percent said a major health event could lead to bankruptcy for them. So that anxiety is really high. And take a listen to what Nancy Pelosi said earlier today. When the president has instructed his Department of Justice uh, to just eliminate the Affordable Care Act, Them's fighting words. <laughs> I mean, them's fighting words. Martin Luther King said, of all the inequalities, the one that is the most inhumane is the inequality in access to health care because people can die. And the president seems oblivious to that. So she, I guess they're fighting words, but meanwhile, Americans are just so frustrated because nothing seems to be able to get done. Well, the inequality is when you know you should be able to get good health care at a reasonable price, what the Democrats keep doing is causing the price to go up. Why don't we focus on doing the things that's actually going to do something about the cost of health care? That's a problem. If you, if what Democrats always do is, oh, it's all about access. Well, what that has done is you can't afford it now. Uh, I, I worked, I ran the largest hospital company in the country. My bill does exactly what I did in the business. I told the pharmaceutical companies when I was in business, you can't charge Americans more than you charge Europeans. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did. We, that's, it's pretty basic. I think both Democrats and Republicans agree we've got to reduce drug prices. Let's do it. Well, Let's there do might be some bipartisan agreement on that, um, indeed, although, of course, the devil's in the details. And I did want to ask you about one other thing, because you understand this issue very well. This is about that disaster aid vote that happened yesterday, because we have a lot of people, a lot of American citizens who are uh, needing some help after these natural disasters. President Trump tweeting this about Puerto Rico, saying Puerto Rico got $91 billion for the hurricane, more money than has ever been gotten for a hurricane before, and all their local politicians do is complain and ask for more money. And listen to Senator Patrick Leahy, one of your colleagues, in response. I've heard Senate Republicans to take up and pass the House bill. H.R. 268, since the House first passed it in January, but the Republican leadership has refused. We cannot advance a bill that picks and chooses among Americans and says some Americans are lesser than others. Senator, do you think that there's enough money in this bill for Puerto Rico to rebuild? Well, this is, this is, uh, they're, they're all steps. I mean, it's what's shameful. Chuck Schumer killed a bill that would have $600 million in food nutrition supplement, uh, supplement money for Puerto Rico. It's the first thing I talked about on the Senate floor after it became a senator. He, he killed that yesterday. Why don't we do what we know we can get done that the president will sign, and then if we need to do more, let's keep doing more. But what, what they're doing, what the Democrats are doing, is you're playing politics. Now think about this for a second. After, after Hurricane Maria, did Chuck Schumer go to, to go to Puerto, Puerto Rico nine times? No, I did, and listen to them. What do they need? Did he open up relief centers in New York? No, I opened those up in Florida. So he says he cares about Puerto Rico, but if you look at his actions, he just stopped funding $600 million for Puerto Rico that they need. So um, where do you think this goes from here? Because there's um, Americans all across the country. That includes, of course, all the citizens in Puerto Rico who need help. Where does this bill go from here? I'm just, I'm, I'm very disappointed in Chuck Schumer that he's, he's, he's killing uh, disaster relief. We need it in Florida. We need it in Georgia. We need it in South Carolina. We need it in North Carolina. And we need it in the Midwest now well, course, with the, yeah. uh, the funding we have. And, and California. And so Chuck Schumer is just playing politics with this. All right. Well, we'll see if you can 
Kick them into gear up there in uh, Washington, D.C. Senator I'm Rick Scott try. of Florida, thank you.